So, um, I was just talking to you like five minutes ago, but I don't know if you guys are, your internet went down or something, but you logged off. So, um, I decided to make a video for you. It's actually going to be the very first of uh, a YouTube channel that I'm starting just for you so I can have my, you know, visual answering machine uh, on YouTube. So this is like the first, I guess. Um, so welcome. Welcome to this YouTube channel. Um, hopefully, I'll actually have some interesting videos and not just me sitting on the couch like I always do, rambling. This, that's just very typical of me. If you want to see my couch, okay, yeah. Um, this is my awesome couch. That's where I spend 95% of my time. I pride myself in the fact that it is uh, so clean. It, I mean, I mean, actually, it's not really that clean. Um, it's clean. It is. It, I guess it could be worse. So you're still offline. Um, something to talk about that's interesting. I had a really bad day at work. Actually, it wasn't bad. I don't know. My boss got back, and this is the first day that I've had to work with him. So he, uh, I, I don't know if I told you, but I was cleaning the back room because that's my responsibility, and I'm. I slack all the time. And we actually got audited, um, and our district manager was like, you know, I wish your standards in the back room were as good as they are on the floor. And Patrick obviously knew that that was my fault. So um, I was like, okay, well, when he's on a vacation, I'm going to make the back room amazing. And I did. Oh, I so did. And he got back and he was like, yeah, I wasn't just amazed, I was stunned. And that was quite a compliment for me. But of course, I already knew he was going to be because I did. I mean, it was spotless back then. We're talking about a back room that's been a mess for eight years, and I just, like, made it spotless, which was a lot of work. Hey, what are you doing? I let Lily roam free sometimes. Like, you know, I move all the, you know, dangerous stuff. Actually, one second. Okay, be good. Um, yeah, she's okay. Uh, <laughs> I let her run the junk drawer. She just stands there. She pulls things out and throws them to the side because it entertains her and I get to do whatever I want to do, like sleep, which is awesome. I might do that soon, maybe. Um, I guess she ran out of minutes, which, oh my God, don't buy minutes and text me. Use your minutes for whatever you got to do down there. Don't text me. It's fine. It's no big deal. Like, if I don't hear from you all day, I'll know it's because you don't need minutes and that's fine or you don't want to waste them. I'm not going to be like, oh my God. Why is he not texting me? I'm not going to do that. Um, <laughs> so, this is already three minutes long. It's take forever to upload this. But I guess, what was I talking about? My bad day at work. Okay, but anyways, it was fine other than that. Um, there wasn't really a lot of annoying customers. I made a lot of sales. Um, apparently, I found out our entire sales goal system is changing. Uh, it's probably, everything is changing this year. Like... It, things have been the same way for the past three years that I've worked there and then all of a sudden they want to just switch all the rules up and do things differently and it's fine I guess but it's just when you're so used to doing things one way and they throw off your order you start to forget things and I've forgotten so much already like taking the garbage out I left the back door unlocked you know I mean that's just that's got small stuff but like our over short log for our, our, our deposits that's all messed up like it's just a big I don't know it's just a big mess but now they're saying, like, we get reviews every year. Or I haven't gotten one from last year yet, which I'm going to get one in a month, apparently. Um, and they go over how we did the year before and stuff like that. We're supposed to get them in January. Um, it's, um, what? That's right. It's July, August-ish. I'm looking at my, my calendar down here. Um, and I haven't gotten one yet. And so I was like, well, this is, this is ridiculous. Are you gonna actually going to threaten me with my job from the numbers for last year if half of this year is gone? But no, my boss says, well, apparently now, instead of being gold on your own numbers, you're gold on the entire store's numbers, which is fine, because that just means that it doesn't matter if I make my goals or not during the week. I can be number one or number six every single day of the year, and as long as the store does good, I still do good, so I'll be golden. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I guess that's all I can talk about, because I don't want to make the videos more than five minutes long. Because not only are you not going to want to sit here and listen to me talk for five minutes, because that would drive me insane. I can't imagine someone else. So I think I'm going to end it here.
I'm not looking at myself when I look this way. There's actually a time print thingy, and I, I watch that. It's red and it's bright and it really grabs my attention. So it's not, I'm not looking at myself. I'm looking at the timestamp. So now you know. And there's my little kid. She teases the dog. Um, and then she's so funny because she teases him and she gets all mad at him when he stands up and wags his tail and hits her in the face and she goes, nah! but I'm like, Lily, you just basically taunted the dog. Um, what do you expect him to do? <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. Um, get back online. Maybe? Yes? No? I'm sure I'll talk to you later either way. I mean, you don't have to get online. And talk to me. It's, if you're busy and you have life to live, it's kind of energy. Um, but what am I gonna do with my six days off? That's what I want to know. It's too bad you don't have money. You could just come up here for a week and we could hang out for a whole week on my week off because that's like the only time. I guess I could, I could technically schedule it that way to where I have that span off, but it's very rare. Um, so raise a bunch of money really quick by tomorrow. Raise enough money to come here for a week and I'll take everything else. All you need is your plane ticket, 400 bucks, whatever that costs. And you're gonna have a passport, so you're gonna go. 400 bucks, come home for a week. And then I'll take care of the rest. I have a car, I have lots of food, I have a place to stay. So yeah, do that. <laughs>